Today we have this experiment of resistance per unit length of the wire. For this experiment, I will tell you the connections. First, we take a battery which is 3.1 volt and we connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the ammeter. Then we take the resistance of the wire, we take the wire whose resistance has to be measured and we connect it from the negative terminal of the ammeter to the top side of the rheostat. Then uh, from the lower end of the rheostat, we connect it, it to the key. Then the other end of the key is connected to the battery. Last, we connect the voltmeter in parallel with the battery. The negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and the negative terminal of the voltmeter is connected to the top side of the rheostat. Now, we will take the readings by closing the key and completing the circuit. We take, we take the reading of the voltage and note the corresponding change in the, in the current through the circuit. Now here we have the reading as 0 0.02 volts. Here in the ammeter we see that the reading is 0 0.04 amperes and we note it down in the tabular column. By varying the rheostat, we can vary the voltage in the circuit and we note down the corresponding current in the circuit and we are going to plot the graph of this. Now you see we have taken the readings and now we will plot the current versus voltage graph. The graph is as such. The voltage is taken along x axis in volts and current is taken in amperes along y axis. The scale here is on the x axis one unit is equal to 0 0.02 volts and on the y axis one unit is equal to 0 0.02 amperes. Now we have plotted the points on the graph and we draw a line to indicate the resist oh, to indicate and now we have marked two points here A and B to calculate the slope of the graph. The point A has coordinates 0 0.056, comma, 0 0.09 and the point B has coordinates 0 0.092, comma, 0 0.16. Now we will complete this triangle and calculate the slope of the graph. Now, uh, to calculate the slope, we have the difference of y coordinates divided by the difference of x coordinates. we have got the slope as 0.1944 per ohm. Now we have to calculate the resistance of the wire. The resistance of the wire is given by formula R is equal to 1 by slope. So we substitute the value and we find out the resistance of the wire. We get it as 5.144 ohm. Now we have to calculate the resistance per unit length of this given wire. The given wire has the length 1 meter. So resistance length is equal to R by L which is and we get the final value of the resistance per unit length of the wire as 5.144 ohm.